Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So guys, today we are gonna continue with the Peugeot 2008. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do the timing belt today. We're not gonna start the engine side of it. I've gotta do the oil change. Well, I've dropped the oil, so I've gotta change the oil, oil filter. But I'm going to leave the rest of the service um, until we do the timing belt, um, which is on its way. So, but there's plenty of other bits and pieces that we can carry on on this car um, today. So let's get into it. Um, before we do, um, I mentioned about a car that I won yesterday at Copart. Um, they still haven't let me have it. Again, yesterday, backs and forwards, backs and forwards, backs and forwards, and... Um, they might not let me have it and they might just throw it back through the auction. If they do that, that'll be, I think it'll be the fifth time that they've tried to sell this car. Um, it's got a bit of a story to that. I'll, ex if I win the car and when I get it, I'll explain, um, all about that. But it, it's, I've never come across, um, a car that's gone for, back through the auction so many times as this car. So don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out if I win it. Um, and if I do, I'm going to put a picture on Instagram. Um, shall I tell you what it... I won't tell you what it is, but I'll tell you the make. It's a Mercedes. So, yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, you'll have to find that very, very soon. Anyway, let's get into it, guys. Let's do some on this. Um, I just want to quickly show you the crash bar on this before I set you up on the, uh, the uh, time lapse. I'm going to show you the crash bar because a lot of people were saying that this crash bar has been hit um, on the passenger side. It hasn't been hit. It hasn't been touched. Um, let me show you. Let's do this. So, guys, yeah, just before I show you the crash bar, oil filter, um, and the oil's down there, so we can do that. That way we can sort of, you know, put it back on the floor, run the car, move it about, um, whilst we wait for other bits and pieces to turn up. So, the crash bar. Um, a couple of people had sort of messaged me and said, that crash bar's definitely been hit. That crash bar's definitely... Go back and look at the comments, what they were saying. Um, I kind of understand why they were saying that because it actually does look a little bit like it has. But believe it or not, that's the design of the crash bar. That's exactly how it should be. Can you see, like, it's got little, little sort of curves there? And it, it, it does actually, because I originally, when I first done one of these on the Peugeot 208, this, the, I think it was 16 plate, it had exactly the same crash bar. And I thought exactly the same thing. I did. I thought exactly the same thing. It's been, it's been pushed. But it hasn't. Believe it or not, that's the way that they designed it. They designed it for those curls to be there. Let me show you the other side. So can you see the curls? It's, it's, it's designed that way. It's, it, that's exactly how it, 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 should, it should sit. So, yeah. But I just wanted to show you that, guys, because, you know, I was getting a lot of comments. Well, not a lot of comments, but a few people were saying, even though it looks like it's pushed in here. It's not. It's not. It's not pushed in there. It's the way it sits. It's both sides are the same. It's weird. It, don't, don't get me wrong. It does look strange. It looks weird. It, it looks like this section here... Um, is obviously thicker and it goes along and it does look like it's been squashed. But it, it ha I, I, honestly, it hasn't. It's exa that's exactly how they designed it and exactly how it sits as it comes forward. It's, it's obviously inside this box section crash bar, it's different on this point because um, obviously you can see that it's, it's more flatter here. And then as it comes through, it kind of it's, it's kind of squashed both ends, but that's exactly how it should be. So yeah, I just wanted to show you because a lot of people say, "Oh, that's been that's been that's been squashed. You've got to change the crash bar." No, 
that's exactly how it should sit and exactly how it should be. Um, well, I knew that anyway because of the way that it got hit on the corner and it didn't get it, it, none of the bumper side, this side, got got hit or touched whatsoever. Got really lucky. I've got to be honest. Um, it could have been, it could have been hit and it could have been worse, and I would have changed it. But there's no point changing something that's, that is that is it's not damaged. It's not been hit. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, wrap that up um, and just to show people because obviously people don't know. People are just assuming that that's been squashed. Um, and, you know, they, they look at it, because I did it, when I first looked at it, and I, like, at the one I've done, uh, the 208, I looked at exactly the same thing, and I went, wow, that's been squashed. <laughs> but it turned out it hasn't. That's, that's the way they designed it. So, yeah, which is a bit, a bit weird, but there you go. Right, let's crack on. Um, we're going to do the oil change, put the oil back in, oil filter, um, just plod around, do a little bit, some pieces, get it back on the ground. Um, I want to do some other bits today on this. I want to try and get this out if we can. We're going to have a go at this. There's a little, tiny little sort of dent here. We're going to have a little play with that. Um, we're going to look over the car. We're going to see what else we can do. Um, any cleaning that needs to be done. A any anything, anything that we can do on this car, we're going to try and want to try and do today. Um, we're going to still have a go at this as well. Uh, I'm going to straighten this back up. Give that a little spray inside there and um, have a little play around with, with that as well. But it's a little bit difficult, that, because, like I said before, won't, until you get the wing in place, you don't really know um, where it's going to sit. So it's a bit tricky to sort of... I don't want to start moving that around too much and put it, stick it in a position where I think, yeah, yeah, that looks straight, that's good. But actually, <laughs> when the wing turns up, it's completely in the wrong place. So... Yeah, we've just got to be a little bit sort of, yeah, I'm not sure about that in a minute. I'm not, I don't know how far to take that, but we'll, we'll see. Let's do this. Right, let's set you up. Let's crack on. Let's do this. So, guys, there we go. Right, the oil change has been done, um, and I've got it up to temperature. Check the levels. It's absolutely spot on, the dipstick, which is good because it has to go around the new um, oil filter. So you have to run it for a while, a couple of minutes, um, and then just turn it back off, just double-check to make sure that it's all gone through the oil filter and then top it up as needed. But, um, yeah, that's all done spot on. Um you just see me there messing around, um, just pulling it out a little bit more. I don't really want to take it any further than that. Um, I have give it a little bit of a spray, just a little bit of a, um, 
an undercoat there just to sort of protect the paint um the, the metal sorry from both sides as well so a little bit underneath there as well so just sort of protect it up a little bit um i don't really want to be messing around too much with that with that um that there really i kind of want to leave it now until until we get the wing on in place and then start lining that up and then i can i've got a better understanding then where it should be pulled pushed pulled twisted whatever it's, it's definitely got a little bit of needs a little bit more work definitely but i just don't want to mess around with it too much really so i'm going to leave it like that um and we're going to move on i think actually the wing is being delivered today so if i get a chance i might just shoot back get the wing bring it back and then we can just sort of start lining it up but that's if i've got time i don't know if i want to be able to do that with this one at the minute but um i want to move on now and see if we can get that out of there um it's got a little tiny little dent there see it there it's like a little crease um it, it's it's potentially going to be a little bit tricky because it's right on the curb bit the curve so but um i wanted to just to see if we can get that any better than what it is I'd like to have a go um, with the dent, uh, dent, dentless uh, paint, paint, paintless dent puller thing, the the, uh, the glue tabs. So I'm probably going to move it over to the middle just to give us a bit more space, um, and then we could have a go at doing that. So, or do I want to do it here? I can lift it up. Yeah, I might do it here actually. I might do it here on the ramp. I'll, I'll lift it up on the ramp so it gives us a little bit more height so that, so that is sort of up here so that we're just pulling forward do you know what i mean so yeah let's um let's do it here right i'll set you up let's get cracking let's have a go at this Right, guys, let me show you. Um, just, I'm not. I could keep going with this, keep going and going and going, and it it possibly would, you know, get better and better and better. But I just think maybe I should get someone over. Um, do you know, like one of these um, dent uh, smart repair guys, dent uh, dent paintless dent guys. Um, I might just get someone over to do it, you know, because they'll get it spot on perfect, wouldn't they? Um, and that's kind of what it needs, really, because around the rest of the car is absolutely lovely. There's nothing else around the rest of the car. So that needs to be good. That needs to be great. And I just, I could, you know, it's not what I do. I, I try to, you know, you know, you know me, I do try to, to do whatever I can on these cars, but in this case because it's so newish 17 plate this really needs um a specialist should we call him a specialist um <laughs> that's their job that's their trade that's what they're good at um and i think that's what it needs so i'm going to leave it like that um and get someone over to do this for us hopefully he'll let me uh do the filming the videoing they the trouble is with these guys that they they don't like you know you know getting in their way basically and, I, and i'll have to sort of ask them. i say look can i set up the camera can i stick it on time lapse can i just can we just watch you do it hopefully he'll agree um i'm not asking him to sort of be like this but it'll be nice to get it sort of close so he's out of the picture maybe i don't know 
but it'd be nice to sort of see that being done um, on a time lapse in one of the videos. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Right, what I want to do now is I want to move on um, and spend a little bit of a time and a little bit of attention on this bumper because I spoke to the, the painter um, and he said, easily repair that, no problem at all. Um, that does not need to be changed. So I'm just going to sort of have a little mess around with this, polish it up a little bit um, just to see how much we can get this out. We've got to do a little bit of repair here, so we'll do that. We'll strengthen it up on the other side um, and let the painter uh, do the rest. We'll have to get some paint to match the car, and he can just spray in the corner of the bumper. Um, and, uh, yeah, make sure that's good as well. So let's get on with that. I'll set you up. Let's now do this. Right, okay, guys. So, actually, it's the next day um, for me, for you. I'm just bunching up the videos to make it one complete. Weren't enough yesterday. I had some family stuff going on, and I just had to get away. So I thought, you know what? Let's just bunch it up and have and make it over a couple of days. So this is actually the next day. It's I'm losing my days here. Uh, it is Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday now, and I'll put this out tonight for you guys to watch. So, um, yeah, the last bit I did was this here, which was the bumper. Uh, and a little bit of a, a sort of a damaged part there. Not too much, but I just wanted to sort of make sure that, you know, I put some uh, staples going around through it just to make sure that it's not going to split and it's, like, stronger than ever. Uh, so that's done. A little bit of filler, which is the plastic bumper filler, which is a little bit flexible. I've showed you that before in the past. You don't use... Um, the same filler for the plastic bumpers and the bodywork on of a car so very very slightly different filler and this is the specific one you have to use so a little bit on the outside and then some on the inside as well just to sort of build it up a little bit um so that's nice and strong i'm going to leave it like that because this has got to go to the paint shop and i'll leave it exactly how it is so the painter can sort of rub it down and he can prep it exactly how he needs to prep i've also took the strip here which is a plastic strip that goes across the bumper um you can see the same as this side i've taken that off just because i don't like really to the painters to tape that off there it really needs to go behind to, to make it like perfect, to make it right. Do you know what I mean? You need to really take those off so they can just paint the whole freaking through and then you re reattach that piece of there and then it's a finished job. That's why I've left it unclipped at the bottom here as well. Left it all unclipped. I'm not putting that back. Um, it just helps with um, the, for the paint art and it just gives it a better finish, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm, that's how I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I have now got some bits and pieces for this car because because it's the next day. They turned up yesterday, so I chucked them on the back of the truck and then, um, yeah, bought them in this morning. I have got a guy now, message a guy, who's going to do this for me, just waiting for him to come back with a price. Uh, hopefully not too expensive, but, yeah, I just think it needs to a professional um, a professional uh, finish and, and, you know, to get it absolutely spot on perfect. And he's, I've sent him a picture on a video and he said, yeah, no problem. You could do with that. Um, so I'm just waiting for a price. Anyway, got the headlight. Um, so that's the headlight being delivered. Um, 
nothing's broken. Um, it's absolutely spot on. None of the tabs. It's absolutely, you know, even the actual lens is it's really, really clear. So this is exactly the one we need. Quite expensive, this one. Um, I think this was about 250 um, but there was others on there that were broken tabs and all the rest of it. I just, you know, you, I just can't, you can't have them like that. You just, you've got to have them complete and ready to go straight on, nice and clean. We've also got um, the wing, which is no damage to it. It's just dirty, I think, and it just needs a good, like, slight, like a nice little buff up. Um, it comes with a trim as well, so that's good. All we've got to do is transfer the badge from this one get that GT line badge off of there and then stick it on um, in the correct position on this one. But that's not going to stop us from getting it on, lining it all up and having a look at, you know, how it, how it looks basically. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, I'm also going to just give it a little bit of paint, a little bit of black paint in there. So we'll do that first, get that painted. Um, and then we're going to start lining this up. Um, the, oh, I didn't show you the time. <laughs> So the timing belt kit, got a new Deco, um, D uh, Deco uh, timing belt kit. This is a wet belt. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's all in there. I think I've, sh I've showed you this before, and I? But I'm still waiting for the locking tools to turn up. And apparently they're going to be here tomorrow. So hopefully we can just crack on with this one. You've got a gasket as well. And that tensioner and the belts at the bottom. That's the wet belt. So, yeah. Oh, and the, and the idler as well. The pulley. So, yeah. So, we've got a Deco uh, time belt kit there. Um, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's continue. Let's just see what we can get done today. Let's get that painted first. And then we'll move on. Let's do this. Right, okay, got to cut in there, guys, to let you know what is going on, because it was going so well. It was going so well. Um, you know, I sprayed up all the where it needs to be going there, sprayed up all underneath there, you know, lining up the bracket. It was, it was going absolutely spot on. Um, got the gap right on this side. Um, door opens well. Matched the other side to make sure it's spot on the same, and it is perfect it is really really this this is really really going really well the the actual wing is spot on same color um exact match so you know everything was going great until i closed the bonnet um i've got to change the hinges on this bonnet just it just will not line up uh, this side's great fantastic we know that because it hasn't had a hit this side um and potentially not hit the, the actual move the, the actual hinge but that side has definitely moved um i don't know if it's like see i can't even i don't think it's moved on this i think the actual bonnet hinge itself has bent a little bit so i, I just can't trust that that's gonna be straight um and i don't want to take it off start sort of messing around with it moving it around bending it just change it for an, for for another original one, um, and then we know then it's going to be straight, um, and we can carry on. Because when I close the bonnet, um, it actually this the, the bonnet actually goes just slightly on top of the wing there, which is no good. It needs to be inside uh, where the wing sits, not on top. So I know that the hinge has got a bend. That has got a bend in it somewhere. Um, and like i just don't like messing around with those kind of things they're like what is it 30 40 pound for a set of hinges 
just take them off, swap them over, and then they should sort of line up right. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, just one of them things really, but I didn't realise until I started to fit the new parts because, you know, you really don't know um, until you start doing that. So that's where we are. Um, absolute nightmare, isn't it? But it is what it is. I've now got to then take the wing back off um, to get that hinge off and uh, I'll order I'll order some hinges or a set of hinges or that side or whatever and, you know, we'll have to replace it at, at, the, at some point. Um, just It's a real shame because it was going so, so well. I've got to be honest, it was going really, really well. Um, but there you go. It is what it is. You just have to, um, yeah, you just have to sort of deal with it. So let's get it back off. And then after that, um, I am going to make a start, I think, on the timing belt. Um, the timing belt locking tool has turned up at home, so I can grab that tomorrow, um, bring it in, and then we can fit the new one, uh, lock it all up and stuff like that. But for now, we'll just do whatever we can um, just to, to sort of carry on uh, with this one. I'm definitely going to sort of, you know, change the belt now we've checked the sump underneath that's all clean that's all done there's no issues whatsoever underneath uh, but we do have to do the actual um yeah we do have to do the uh, belt so <sighs> bit decided bit gutted but you know it is what it is like i said i wouldn't have known that until we start putting it back together and lining it all back up and then i knew as soon as i put that on and that on and lined it up that end and worked this way and then tried the bonnet, it's no good. It's no good. So it's not going to work. Never mind. It is what it is. It's these things happen. I'll order some sets of hinges and we'll just have to wait for them to turn up. So let's crack on. Let's do this. Right, guys, do you know what? It's going all right, actually. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm quite looking, I'm quite enjoying sort of working out this and getting this one done. So, as you can see, 
we've got the timing cover, uh, the uh, cam cover off the top, which is over here. Strange design with this spout and this sort of the way it is, but apparently this is a re revised um, timing cover version. There's certain versions to this. There's maybe three versions, I think it is. Um, so we've got this type um, of version where sometimes they don't have this split, but you know, um, I just thought to explain <laughs> bits and pieces. So that's off. And now we can see the actual wet belt, the timing belt there. Um, let me get a little bit closer to the belt. It's not that bad, but I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to show, see signs of cracking uh, going on. Very, very small cracking there going on. Um, you can see it there, look, like that. So, and those all little cracks you can see, and they'll just get worse and worse and worse. So it's a good job that we are doing it. Um, it's peace of mind for the new owner that it's been done. They haven't got to worry about it for the next 50,000 miles. I'd say 50,000 miles really needs to be changed every time. Um, you know, that's and, and 50,000 miles for someone uh, is quite a few years, let's be honest. Um, if you're doing five, if you're doing 10,000 a year, obviously that's five years, but most people don't do those kind of miles anymore um, unless it's in a sort of a diesel um, and you and you need to do those motor, motorway miles or whatever. But these kind of ones are just little run around, little run around towns, back to forth to work or whatever. So, but yeah, it needs to get done uh, and we've got to do it now. I'm still waiting for the tour to turn up. I think it's turning up this afternoon. If it does, we can crack on with this tomorrow and continue. Um, I haven't got the locking tool for this one because this is a different one to the other one that I've got. Um, and basically, you need to lock that cam inside there. There's a little bar that goes over that, and it locks it there. Um, and also, you need to remove that, I think it's a pump that's in there. Um, and then that gives you access to the other cam on the end of the other cam and you lock that one there with a bar as well and then from underneath you've got like a bar that goes into the flywheel and locks the bottom end so that's how you do it um and we're gonna sort of continue with this tomorrow hopefully you know all, i'll have all the tools and we can lock it all up and i'll show you how to do that and, and what's been done and then we're going to change this timing belt um, and switch it over and, uh, yeah, continue um, with with this one. So that is going to be the end of today's video. I know like, I bunched it up from yesterday's and today. I just thought we'd make it a, a video complete. Um, I've ha I have ordered the actual uh, bonnet hinge. I showed you that. That was I, I, I think it's bent. Um, where did I put it now? Over here. I just don't think it's sitting straight. <laughs> I think that should be sitting lined up with that. I think that should be over here somewhere. So something's not right with this hinge. It's definitely been knocked and hit and, and dent and bented. Bent, sorry. <laughs> um, so I've ordered one of those. That should be here in a couple of days as well. Uh, but for now, for today, that's it. We'll come back to this tomorrow. We'll continue with this timing belt, the wet belt system, get that changed over, um, and then just see what we can get done tomorrow. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, how do you think it's going so far? I think it's going great. I'm quite enjoying working on this car. It's quite nice to work on. Um, the engine's you know, really, really nice to work on. It's only a three-cylinder petrol engine with the turbocharger there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really nice engine to work on. Um, so that's it. Don't forget, guys, drop me a comment, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you soon.